Hey everybody, happy Monday. Welcome back to a, another episode of the Caledonia, Minecraft, Mine Colonies, all the mods nine. Man, how many, how many like words can I throw into this? Just all in all, welcome back. Happy Monday. Happy to be here. We are standing in front of the little submarine. I don't know, it's just, it's really cute. It's got the squids going around it. It's great. It's great. Anyways. Today is going to be a fun one, mostly because this is going to be the last episode in the Caledonia series. Kind of accomplished everything that I wanted to do with the the mod pack. Not really, guess the mod pack, but the the colony style, the mine colonies style as a whole. So we're going to be finishing everything up for this today. All the buildings are going to get to T5. All of our roads are going to be completed. All the rails are going to be done. Going to wrap up some of the walls and everything like that. And maybe put some finishing touches for terraforming and everything. We're going to be wrapping that all up, which is going to be really nice. Also, huge shout out to everyone who this past week has given me awesome song recommendations. From One Republic to Gact to... There's a couple more EDM thrown in there. A lot, of, a lot of great song recommendations, so definitely enjoyed that. So thank you so much for that one. But yeah, no, today we are, we're going to be wrapping all this up. We're also going to be talking about what is next for the Mine Colonies adventure. Definitely going to be doing more of that for sure. Minecraft Mondays aren't going anywhere, so that's going to be fun. And then let's see, what else? What else is happening today? Looking at my notes... Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, oh, we are going to be, other than terraforming, getting all these buildings to tier 5, we're going to be putting in a new barracks. That'll be nice, just to drum up the defense of the colony really well. Definitely want to make sure we're doing that. And then also, also it looks like I have listed here infrastructure with recipes. So I believe what I mean by that is going around and making sure that all of our trades buildings, such as the sawmill, such as the blacksmith and everything like that, have all what they need. So this colony just kind of runs by itself, which is pretty much what it's doing right now, if we're, if we're being honest. I fixed up a couple of those recipes from last episode making sure that stone was being taken care of the way that was being tank needed to be taken care of and yeah so that's all cool i believe all the buildings have been done i think the only building i haven't done for this mod style or for this uh overall style pack within mine colonies is the die shop or the die building the dyer's hut i didn't do that in fact uh we'll We'll come over this way. Oh, and research-wise, we're going to be wrapping up research-wise. That's the other note that I had. I'm going to come over over here because I can kind of show it a little bit better. In fact, what are all these guys working on as we're making that way? Uh, this guy is on the sifter, so that's good. This person is working on a road. And then this person... Well, that person needs some... Anisite stuff. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that'll be delivered here in a moment. Anyways, I'm going to come over here. I can kind of show the builder set from this angle since it's actually pretty large. But also, I didn't really see the need for the Dyer's Hut. But ooh, actually, it's, it's a little stormy. Where is... I need a house with a bed in it. Ugh. Run over here to one of these residences real fast. Sleep through the uh, the storm. I did one of the researches I did pick up allows them to work in the rain. Because man, let me tell you, every single time that it rained, and for whatever reason, I think I picked a biome that it just rains a lot. They would just stop working, and it just it made everything that much worse. So there were a lot of other good research opportunities for I believe it was the citizen path. But when I saw that, like, they'll work through the rain, just immediate. That's the one that we went with. But, all right, so we're going to I'll show you what the dire set looks like real quick. I'm not going to build it, I don't think. It just, one, looking at the overall land and how we've kind of, like, sprawled out and taken over and stuff like that, it just, it doesn't make the most sense. Originally, I was going to put it back over here along where those trees are. 
but I might put some more residences over there. But let's see, it is under craftsmanship, luxury, and dire side. Yes, yes. Okay, so this thing looks, you know, like a normal kind of hut. It's a. Uh, it looks pretty neat. Looks pretty nice. You know, I thought about just kind of like slapping it in right there. Nothing too crazy. And as it goes up in in levels, it gets like longer and longer. Uh, it, it looks good. I do. I do like the way it looks. I, I think it is a good looking building. We'll just kind of use this as a way to kind of look look around it. But I just ultimately I I didn't pull the trigger on it. You know, I just uh, I didn't have a good place to put it aesthetically I guess and the swine herder no the sheep herder that we have has been doing a really good job of just getting me colored wool like if I were to go over into our warehouse like we have so much colored wool it's insane it's, it's absolutely nuts so I didn't really see the need for it but I might still slot it in we'll see we'll see what happens I do need to wrap up a lot of these these paths and everything like that. So it's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun in this final episode. And with that, I think we're just gonna kind of jump right on into it. We're gonna get some time lapses going because I know y'all like those time lapses. Talk some more music recommendations. And when we come back from all that, we're gonna be discussing what is the next steps with Minecraft Mondays and what's going to be happening over the course of this month. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fun. So I am going to, let me see, what can I do this time as a good transition? Do I just kind of, maybe I just go fall in a hole? Maybe that works. Mm, last time I did a sword swipe. What about, what about a, a shovel swipe? Maybe? No, what about, uh, what do I have? What do I have in my, who, huh, who? I got some. I got some blocks of gold. Is that all I got? May. What if? Could I? Could I do this? Hey, so we're gonna we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna do this time lapse thing, and I'm gonna see if this this transition works. And go. It didn't work. That was just a close up. Oh well. I'll see you guys after the time lapse. All right. It is editor rev coming to you with the final time lapse and song recommendation for this particular playthrough oh man i gotta i gotta be honest it's been actually really tough picking a song this week i've been going back and forth on looking at some of the old school j-rock that i listened to a lot old school alternative rock that i had found from just random music videos and amvs from way back in the day and I think what I have landed on was kind of, I, I, it was a weird rabbit hole, so you gotta follow me on this one, but I started looking at some of those alternative rock, started going a little bit further back into like the classics, so some like 80s hair metal and everything like that, and then I kind of was like, mm. there's a few out there that like a lot of people might be familiar with. Uh, one that came to mind that I was originally gonna go with was Dokken. It was a band that, oh man, they, they were very criminally underrated for 80s hair metal. Just, I guess, 80s metal in general. And I started thinking about things like Iron Maiden and everything like that. And I was like, mm, I don't know if, I don't really know if that's like the mood, you know? And so what I ultimately ended up deciding on, keeping it in vain with metal. Not like hard metal or alternative metal or new metal or anything like that, but just what I see as just good metal, right? Like it, there's not much that can go wrong with anything that's on this album is Black Label Society. That's the band name. Really great. It's uh, front man is Zach Wild, which if any of you guys are into guitars or anything like that, really recognizable guitar. And now that I'm saying that out loud, I almost wish I could change this to a different band, but I'm going to stick with my guns on this one. The The song by Black Label Society that I think is absolutely worth listening to, my personal favorite, well I have two, but my personal favorite that I love rocking at the gym is Fire It Up. Really good, it's got like really good just 
driving drums. The guitar is fantastic. I love a lot of the effects that they do. The music video is a little bit on the weirder side, absolutely. It's definitely a product of its age, so worth checking out in that particular vein. But what's fun about this song, as well as some within that particular realm, is back when I was younger and playing in a lot of different bands and like really living that musical dream, as one would say, uh, the guitarists like Zach Wilde, bassists and like flea and everything like that at my school there was a lot of bands that were popping up and a lot of the times that we would like compete with one another and i spent many a weeks and weekends learning how to play a lot of these solos a lot of these riffs and everything like that so the next time that i was sitting around at the cafeteria even if i had just like my acoustic guitar or i just picked up a bass or whatever it was i could just like prove to all the other guitarists that were going to my school that like I knew what I was talking about and that I can like compete with them. Uh, and this was one of the songs that I had learned like frontwards, the backwards, like all the different timings. And not only this song, but Black Label Society has several songs in here that kind of dip into piano that have like a really unique take on just the overall chord progression and stuff like that. So it was just, it was fun learning the entire discography along with classics like Metallica and, and stuff. But definitely worth checking out absolutely i think you guys will love it a little bit of a departure from what i've been talking about in the past with things like gunship things like rookies is punked uh someone recommended one republic the other day listen to that that was actually a really good time actually listen to all of one republic while getting through and farming the rest of the stuff that you're seeing right now in the time lapses which all have been great in fact the very last time lapse i'll be getting to that here shortly is the final road which that was momentum like it was monumental is the word i'm looking for with that one uh the roads they whenever i thought i was done i was not done with the roads but it was yeah so that's the song definitely would be the the number one recommendation for me is, is that check them out there you can't go wrong with it obviously there might be some other ones and if you have a rock band a go-to rock band or a go-to metal band that you just love to listen to by all means drop it down below thing bands like Dokken are like criminally underrated and chances are you probably know of a, of a rock band or a metal band or a hair metal band or whatever it is that I've never heard of there was so much great music that was coming out in that time and it was so hard to just kind of like find it unless like you had a vinyl or a CD or whatever it was I was fortunate enough to have family who was very much into the music scene and like introduced me to a lot of these different types of just genres growing up from country to rock to rockabilly to old school classics of like Johnny Cash and everything like that. So I like to think I have a nice range, but also I'm always looking for more music. So one of my favorite things since I've started doing these song recommendations and just overall music recommendations has been just chatting with all of you and getting your recommendations as well. So that's been a huge boon. Absolutely love it. And I can't wait to keep doing these. Ugh. Running out of running out of breath. Just so excited. Gotta always have like water on hand. But no, I'm really excited with where this has been going and stuff. So keep up all the comments and everything like that. Just a fun friendly reminder. You can like you can subscribe if you would like the bell and all that other kind of jazz that people often say but more importantly i'm loving the conversations around music it's just been fantastic it's a huge part of my life and i'm glad that i'm able to share that with you in in some capacity and also share a part of me in the form of the synesthesia talking about colors that not many people have that experience with so it's it's just a big thing here it is this is the last time lapse for the Caledonia Mine Pack and is the road, the final road in the entire colony. And I just wanted to kind of have that here so you guys could see it and like revel with me. But with that said, I'm gonna let the, the lo-fi kind of just play itself out. Thank you guys again for all the support. Can't wait to see you in the next playthrough with more music to talk about. All right, this has been Editor Rev signing off for the last time.
and we're back and i hope you guys enjoy those time lapses i wanted to make sure to capture the final road being completed because let me tell you the roads were something else just just hands down one of the longest endeavors for the entire colony like whoo buddy oh pal anyways we're gonna we're gonna start back over here we're gonna walk through the city everything has been upgraded to tier five all the roads are completed all the resources have been handled like the recipes everything some of this stuff is growing out of control i don't actually really know what's going on over here the person is taking their sweet time what is what's going on what's what is, what is this what's your request you need an axe oh well do i have an axe on me i might have an axe on me i do at the very least, I have an axe. Man. There you go. It's something. You can at least, you can at least start, because this is, this is getting out of hand. Girl, getting out of hand. Anyways. All of the roads have been upgraded. Most of the infrastructure for the roads has been handled. I didn't actually connect these over here, mostly because this got in the way. And I really didn't see the need for it. I... Uh, Looking back with how I was doing all these roads, I like the idea of the roads. They, they definitely turned out really well, especially for helping me plot everything out and like really frame where I wanted the different districts and everything like that with the colony. But when it came to actually getting the rails and stuff like that in place, I think... At least for Caledonia, the underground rails, I think, is applicable in some cases, but not in all. And I, I think next time, if I were to do the Caledonia style pack, I would want to mix in the by rails and stuff like that to have people moving around the city that way. I think is how ultimately I'd end up going. But ultimately, they do look good. They do look great. Everything has been upgraded to kind of go in on to it. I've done a little bit of terraforming to smooth out some things. The NPCs are getting stuck. I believe I am on too hilly of an area. Oh, I gotta fix this. I gotta put those uh, stairs back in there or something like that. But the I think the area is a little bit too, too hilly because I've noticed that the AI just kind of craps out I, I don't know if it was in one of the, the time-lapse videos or if I was just doing something, but over here I had, a, I had a guard for the longest time just like stuck on this bush and he wasn't spinning, but his head was spinning, like just constantly. It looked like something straight out of like The Exorcist or whatever, but just like wild. But yeah, no, things, things all turned out really well. Uh, ultimately, I think I really enjoyed the way this, this style pack came through. All the residences ended up looking really good. We did, oh, in the in the process of getting everything to tier 5, looking at the residence just kind of reminded me of it. We had another pirate attack, and I took the advice of some of the commenters and let, let it play out. I didn't do any defending. I just kind of stood by the wayside, and we lost about 35 citizens, I believe. Most of the most of the military and stuff like that. So I've been slowly getting them back up. In fact, you can see like the really cool plate armor they got going on right now. I, it was it was a bloodbath. It was crazy, but that did happen. Anyways, everything's here. Everything is looking really good. One of I think my critiques that I have for Caledonia is. It doesn't have things like a player house. That's one of the things that would have been really cool. I looked at some of the other uh, styles. I think like the, the, the pagoda style has like a whole slew of different types of buildings and everything like that that just fit the need for everybody. And I kind of wish that the Caldonia had that as well. And if it does have a player house, I just didn't find it. I went through that, that build the build wand a lot to try and find it but I just I didn't see it anywhere but ultimately I do like the style it looks really good I think in the future if I were to do Caledonia again I'd want to mix and match it I would, I would want to find a way to bridge the gap between this one and like maybe the dark oak or something along those lines 
The other thing is, man, it is constantly raining in this in this particular biome that I picked up in the plains. I guess it just rains a lot in the plains, but it's just it's wild. It, it causes so many problems for me early on that like I'm I'm always trying to uh, I'm just sleep through the through the night, always waiting for them to like finish up the the build and they can't because it's raining and everything like that. It's just it's a big yikes. Look at all these bees though. Look at them. I'm doing pretty good. I do like the mod as a whole, though. I, I think the mod as a whole works really, really well for for what it's trying to do, and I'm really glad I spent the time to mess around with it. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit on what comes next after this playthrough, because I'm definitely going to be doing more with Mine Colonies, because I really do enjoy it. I enjoy the process, and it, it gave me a really good tangible goal to keep working towards. But we're going to keep walking through the colony a little bit. The... The industrial district, I wanted to do more with it, but I just, I ended up running into some issues, both with the AI, like you can see right here, there's like just a constant backlog of just NPCs just congregating here. And for the longest time, they would all just hide out way up there on the top. It was just an ongoing problem. Some guys over here just fishing, not fishing, he's swimming. I ended up putting the, the wall around, which has been really nice. Did all that. We'll go up here. We'll kind of take a walk. Take a walk along the wall just to kind of go on the on the journey. I realize that this doesn't actually connect to the other one. I meant to connect that, but it doesn't. Anyways, I put a wall up. You can kind of see it on the map there. I did, I did block all that off, which has been really helpful. But it actually leads me to one of my, I think, largest complaints with mine colonies. And this, I think, is to, like, base mine colonies. I don't think this has anything to do with any other mods interfering. But, and I'll, I'll show this here in a second once I, once I get over there. We see that these guard towers have gates on them, which is fantastic. I, I, I really like this, this whole effect and everything like that that it's got going on. It's really great. However, the gates, doors... You've seen a lot of the rain happening here. There's always been like a lot of lightning and thunder happening and causing like fire damage and stuff like that. One of the things that I wish, now that everything is kind of like upgraded, is that the builders would default to just repairing. Because once you get up to T5, right, like they don't really do anything. Look, recipe, construction, can I just. What is. Oh! Oh my goodness. You can change how they... Oh my... That... This would have helped so much. Okay, so if you're going to do the Caledonia mine pack... Or the Caledonia style pack. And you get to some of the buildings. Such as... The barracks. Absolutely get a builder who isn't going to do the default construction strategy for the barracks. Because they have to run back and forth... And that's just yikes. Changing the strategy, I think, would be absolutely worth mile, worthwhile. But this leads me to the, the next issue here is once the, the builders have come all the way up, they're at tier 5, everything else is tier 5, they don't really have any kind of like default behavior, right? Like, say this this courier hut right here gets struck by lightning and it catches on fire and it does some damage. If I'm not here and walking around and it's, it's the storm's coming in and I come in here and I'm like, oh, hey, like this is, I have to come over here and say, you know, build options, click on whoever it is or whatever. And I have to click repair. In fact, you can see it could do some work with repairs right now, just to kind of like swap over the shingles and whatnot. But there's nothing that automatically says repair all the buildings which I think would be really cool for it to have. And on top of that, I would love for there to be a feature for roads specifically. And I don't know if this is possible if like inside the mod packs code or, or whatnot. I haven't like opened that up and, and taken a look. But if there was a way to tag certain build options. So if we hit the build tool and we go over here and we say, all right, if this is within the folder of infrastructure and then within this somewhere, just in here, we have all our roads, our by rails, our alleys, and all that kind of fun stuff. If there was a way to be able to tag that and say, 
automatically upgrade decorations or automatically upgrade infrastructure within like the builder's hut this whole road thing oh would have been just so much easier going around and like clicking on it on the little the little guy right here and being like all right upgrade to level two and then upgrade to level three one this might be a little bit of a criticism to the caledonia style but roads one to two above ground didn't really have any visual difference so it was really hard to tell at a glance if something like that was upgraded however two to three as you can tell certainly does but that's just kind of me again a lot of the stuff is below ground with the subway system in fact we can kind of walk over here real quick and just look down here just to kind of bring attention to it because like all of this starts coming in at level two which don't get me wrong is great but i didn't upgrade anything to level two until like the late game so it wasn't even being utilized so that's where i was kind of like eh, it's kind of on me but also man it was certainly a a trek to get this all upgraded but anyways that that i think comes down to my biggest critique of mine colonies is some of the late game systems i guess is what i would end up calling it the late game uh systems where everything's c5 like don't get me wrong i can make more guard towers and i can i can build other things like residences and stuff like that by messing with the config file and building more decorations and stuff kind of giving the builder something to do but i wish outside of player agency of just going and clicking on you know the the block they could just kind of be instructed to just repair everything because this right now these well these doors are at least there this gate however is gone the the pirates came in they they ran amok and they just straight up tore through the gates and if i were to go over here and actually click on this real quick and look at it it's gonna be like oh you can repair it and they can build the iron gate to bring it back up and i just i wish they would be able to do that because i have the recipe already set up for the the blacksmith over there and he should be able to just kind of make that they come and they're just constantly repairing it over here i was working on this a little bit and then i kind of stopped but this is where the main plaza to the overall colony was going to be i got another one of these guys built up we got the wall and everything we got the main gate i was in the process of figuring out what i wanted to do with this here along with like another little courier hut i was gonna i think put a builder's hut or something like that here too but ultimately i didn't go with it and I just kind of I kind of ran out of time honestly time and and some of the creative juices just weren't flowing here and it just I was trying to use the the trawl I believe is what it is called starts with the TTR oh no was it the spade no uh, it's it's a tool I saw it in a video that I was watching. It's a tool that you put it in your inventory and then you fill up your, your item slots down along the bottom with the blocks that you want to place in like a random order. And so like I was trying to do like a weird blocky path with stairs and cobblestone just to kind of make it look a little bit more worn and torn, but it just, it wasn't working for me. I just, I couldn't get the, the look and feel right. So ultimately uh, decided against it. We're going to keep on walking, though, real quick, just so you guys can kind of get the, the foot tour of everything. Yeah, the, the walls all came in really nice. Really like the way that that turned out. The ship off in the distance where we started, even though I never used that as a player house. I wish I had known that the alternate version, the one that goes over land, just could be anywhere. Because then that probably would have been way in the back over there where that, that windmill ended up being. We'll just go on down here. Where all these broken doors are. Everything like that. We love it. The little back alley over here, the the medical ward is what I've kind of been calling it in my head. We got the, the cemetery, the graveyard, right behind the hospital, which I didn't actually understand the irony to that until, you know, getting up to tier five. I was like, oh, hey, it's right behind one another. This is fantastic, but it's nice. It's good. I end up cleaning all this up. We loop back around over here, kind of hop skip jump over here we got this really great university again i like a lot 
of the verticality here in Caledonia. It's it's really great. I, I love how vertical a lot of these buildings are. I just wish that more buildings had more of like a grandiose nature to them. On top of that, I put another barracks back here. This was a fun one that just took ages to build up. I, and I think my last critique of mine colonies, and maybe I just missed it, but my last critique outside of builders being able to just kind of run around and repair or automatically upgrade is when you place a building down. If I were to click here and I want to place down, you know, a guard tower and I want to do it at level five, I should be able to have the option to put it down at level five and not level one and then level it all the way up. And as far as I can tell, I did not see the ability to do that anywhere within the the wiki or the UI or anything like that. Now, if I missed it, I apologize, but I, I, I did not. And I, I kind of wish that was an option because man, I had all the, everything like is set, ready to go and just watching it build up really slowly. Now, don't get me wrong, the builders are level five, so like they're going real fast, but the, the simple fact that they have to go to level one, then two, then three, then four, then five really slows things down a bit. So those are probably like my two main critiques of mine colonies as a whole. Style pack though, it's fantastic, really love it. In fact, this leads me into talking about what's going to be next for Minecraft Mondays, as well as the fun song recommendations. But no matter what I end up doing on this channel, I think I'm going to have to have a, a spot for each video to talk about song recommendations because you guys have been giving me some of the best song recommendations, bar none. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. Please keep those coming. They, they really make grinding so much better. And when the channel hits the right level of uh, growth, I think is what it is, or whatever that metric is that YouTube is looking for, we can make sure we have like the, the ongoing playlist shared in the description and stuff. I think I can do it in comments. I'll give it a shot, but I know sometimes YouTube gets a little weird about links inside of comments and stuff. Just had an instance where it flagged some of you guys' comments for like review, and we were just talking about music. So I want to kind of avoid that as much as possible. So keep giving the song recommendations is really what I'm saying right here. All the likes, the comments, all that kind of fun stuff. Really great. But that leads me to talking about what's going to be coming next for Minecraft Mondays. And if you are watching this video live as it came out on next Monday or today, then awesome. Thank you so much for the support. It's been fantastic. However, if you're watching this from the mega super awesome compilation, wow, you really sat through all that just to support me. You're fantastic. You're, you're, you're great. I, I'm actually kind of speechless if you, if you did that, like for real, holy crap. Thank you so much. But that leads me into what it is, is where I wanted to have a bit of a buffer from this series into the next series. And mostly I wanted to be able to make sure that I got things like replay mod working correctly so that I can get better time lapses as well as more cinematic shots. I think my goal with each of the playthroughs that I'm going to do for modded Minecraft or vanilla Minecraft is to achieve something in, in the game achieve something both from like a game standpoint hey i built an entire colony with the caledonia mine style but also from a creative standpoint of more cinematic shots so i'm not just popping over into creative mode and flying around and trying to get like the cool angle of neely deancey's builder oh, ah, oh, oh, neely deancey's builder hut here as it's going up right give you get like a much more smoother transition as it moves across so that's kind of like the goal. And with that being said, using the end of a series to bring everything together and release a mega upload of the, the total time it took for this. I don't know what the total running time is at this moment because I haven't done that yet, but that will give me a week long buffer to download some new mods, test them out, make sure that they run appropriately. One of the things that I ended up managed to getting working was replay mod i did manage to get replay mod working just not on this profile for whatever reason i just it just does not want to work with this save file it does not want to work with this particular install of all the mods nine 
and it's unfortunate because one of my original plans was to continue in this world and just go somewhere else and just start a whole nother colony maybe a little bit more magical or even just start dipping into all the mods 9 as a whole and just completing some of the quests but that unfortunately i don't think is going to be what happens here so i'm going to use this this two week time to iron out the bugs with what i want to do next i am leaning towards something a bit more magical as i was building out caldonia here one of the biggest things that I really enjoyed was putting all these RGB trees in, these these rainbow trees and stuff like that. And then I started playing around with the Ars Nouveau trees and just looking at a lot of this architecture and like the whites and the tall towers, you know, it just, it, it, it felt magical. And so I really want to do something with some magic mods and actually complete like a, a a mod pack i think and so that kind of is where i'm heading with it but i do want to give you guys the viewers who have been awesome and supporting me so far some you know opinions as to what the next series is going to be and if there's a particular mod pack that you want to see is there a particular thing within the mod pack or in the videos that i've been doing that you would like to to see as well would you like more cozy long plays would you like longer videos less editing out of the grinding and slaying and overall failing as i'm hiding in a corner from the end dragon or do you do you like this style of editing where i kind of take all that out and it's just us kind of hanging out and vibing and walking around what's been done i'm open to all all types of feedback and criticisms and critiques when it comes to that i'm always looking to improve and so that's why i think for the next series not only do i want to do something from a game standpoint something magical some type of mod pack i'm leaning towards something like the arcane isles or something along those lines i've been looking at that i've been looking at a few but that one's definitely in the front running but also, I want to be able to do something from a creative side, which is making sure Replay Mod works and giving you more cinematic shots, maybe like a, a special opening per episode or some other type of editing. I've been playing around a little bit when I do like the song requests and everything like that, but I definitely want to push that a little bit further. But all that being said, I absolutely adore all of you. The Colony of Symphony has been a wonderful time i absolutely love how it came out especially for like a first time messing around with my colonies I, I i've joked about this with a couple other creators and a few within the comments itself but if i were to go back and, and start over i don't think i'd pick caldonia as my first uh, mine colonies thing it's it's very daunting it's got a lot of grind associated with it a lot of like definitely thrusting yourself into the deep end to like figure out how this mod works following along with the wiki has been helpful following along a, a couple of the creators have also been wonderful but i should have just went with a more simpler style also shout out to the other people who were watching and gave names to the items it's been fantastic outside of all the song recommendations that have also been coming in you guys jumping in and giving the names these will probably be permanent in my eyes i absolutely love it I ended up utilizing a few of them and then they kept breaking on me. Currently, I just have a, a standard diamond shovel here, but in my heart of hearts, it is the ice cream scoop. It's wonderful. We love it. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for taking the time over these past 10 videos, hanging out with me, sharing music with me, just being overall supportive. And I'm looking forward to next minecraft monday where we sit down we start a brand new journey together and hopefully something a little bit more musical something a little bit more magical but until then please have a wonderful rest of your monday thank you so much for hanging out and like i've always said you don't have to like you don't have to comment you don't have to subscribe or anything like that just kind of vibing and hanging out is always a good thing but if you do and you feel so inclined and this kind of made your morning or evening or afternoon or really whenever it is you watch it whatever you're listening to just drop it on down below i'd love to hear it until next time guys bye